Why SpaceX's Starship rocket return? Actual photos. SpaceX's next generation rocket has been delayed several times now. However, SpaceX has revealed that the world's most powerful booster, the Super Heavy, is about to head to space for the first time ever this week. Let's take a look at how SpaceX managed to bring this turnaround so quickly. In the past year, SpaceX has backed some interesting contracts from both private and government customers. However, much of the growth of the company is driven by the burning personal ambitions of the visionary CEO Elon Musk. We already know how Musk wants to make space travel more affordable. However, his biggest ambition is to put people on the red planet. To achieve this, Musk is overseeing the development of the most powerful rocket ever, the Starship. The Starship is vital to the Mars colonization enterprise. It's going to transport people and cargo to the red planet. It therefore needs some smart and clever designing. The Starship is cleverly designed into stages to reduce operating costs. The upper stage is called Ship or Starship and the lower stage is called Super Heavy. This Super Heavy is arguably the most powerful rocket ever built. The biggest advantage, however, is that it is reusable. While fans are eagerly waiting for the Starship to launch, several organizations are also eagerly waiting for Musk to go ahead with the first orbital launch of the Super Heavy. The US Army, for instance, is interested in using it to move heavy cargo fast from one place to another here on Earth. SpaceX2 is looking forward to use the Starship to provide rapid transit for travelers on Earth. Musk has also demonstrated the immense potential contributions of the Starship to space research. He explained how the Starship launch can transport heavy-duty equipment scientists can use to discover and explore other planets. Up until now, all the testing and development on the Starship has been suborbital. However, due to its complex design, the Starship must be put through string and testing before getting approval. The SpaceX crew is working round the clock in Boca Chica, Texas, where the company has extensive facilities to get the Super Heavy ready for the historic launch. SpaceX has been installing the new Raptor engines on the Booster 7 prototypes of the Super Heavy, but that was after some necessary repairs were completed on the booster. SpaceX then began the process verifying that the booster was back to speed. This was promptly followed by filling the tanks to the brim with at least 3,000 tons of liquid nitrogen and oxygen in what is known as a cryogenic proof test. Less than 48 hours after completing its first post-repair test, Booster 7 nailed another full crypto-proof test. Days later, SpaceX attached a crane to Super Heavy B7 and removed it from the orbital launch mount before rolling the rocket back to Starbase's build site. Musk did not disclose any details, but fans were excited about the installations of the more powerful version to Raptor rocket engines. The Booster 7 has room for 33 Raptor engines, producing about 7,600 metric tons of thrust when they are all firing together. It was later reported that SpaceX was rapidly working towards a static fire campaign that would qualify the booster for flight. This is important since it determines whether it is fit for flight or not. Musk added the excitement by confirming on Twitter that SpaceX had all the Raptor 2 engines needed for its first orbital flight. Prior to this, SpaceX was seen moving in a lot of Raptor engines. However, SpaceX is taking its time as it simultaneously encased Booster 7's Raptors and engine sections in shrouds or shields. This is to protect them during static fire testing. These shields will also protect them during launch, re-entry and landing. This is if the booster makes it that far. SpaceX is working on the orbital launch site. It has been refilling the tanks that store subcools and distributes thousands of tons of liquid oxygen, liquid methane, liquid nitrogen, and a few other gases. This step is important for a full wet dress rehearsal which has also never been done with Super Heavy before. The process would need to fill the booster with around 3,400 tons of propellant. It was after this that SpaceX installed Booster 7 on the orbital launch mount with the help of the giant robot arms on the launch tower. This would mark the third time Booster 7 was going on to the mount. Last month, while on the mount, Booster 7 experienced an unexpected explosion sent fireball. Although Musk revealed the damage was minor, it still needed a trip to the factory. What happened was that this may have been a partial wet dress rehearsal which dispersed a cloud of methane gas found in an accidental ignition source and exploded with a force which according to one observer was equivalent to several pounds of TNT. SpaceX quickly emptied Booster 7 off its propellants to prevent more explosions. Musk said the Booster 7 would return to the launch mount within a week. The repulsions may have helped SpaceX to gather crucial data to improve the performance of Raptor 7 engines and the heat shield. 
if the Super Heavy returns quickly, it means the prototype is mostly in great shape after such a violent anomaly. That would hold well for the rocket's durability during future ground and flight testing. If the opposite is the case, it's time for SpaceX to reconsider whether the Booster 7 is fit to support Starship Orbital launch debut. Well, that's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching.